Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Life Kids. Are we excited about this morning? Yes. This morning is the last Sunday of February, right? And that means we're getting ready to start March, which means what's getting ready to happen? What's getting ready to come? Spring. Springtime, right? And with she's spring, excited about that. I am because of the warmer weather. With spring comes uh, new life, right? Uh, flowers, birds chirping, bunny rabbits hopping, pretty outfits, <laughs> and most importantly, we celebrate Easter, right? Awesome. Okay, so boys and girls, we're gonna uh, jump right in, right? And we're gonna have our morning time of prayer. Avi's gonna kick us off with some prayer. So go ahead, Avi. You ready? Yeah. Okay. Dear God, thank you for this day. Thank you for my family and friends, and thank you for all the wonderful things we have. Amen. Amen. That was a great prayer, Amy. Very good job. Okay, boys and girls, jump up, stretch, get ready. It's time for our morning worship. Moms and dads, feel free to join in too. Enjoy, guys. We 
Christ there for us. He's good in every way. Pouring out his awesome love. He's good in every way. He fills us up with peace and joy. He's good in every way. He gives us all we need and more. He's good in every way. Come on now, join with Come me. On, He is a mighty God and worthy of our praise We give Him everything, He's good in every way He's good in every way, He's good in every way Worship. Yeah. Okay, so now we're going to be uh, jumping into our story, right? And we're going to be learning about Jesus performing one of his uh, miracles. Uh huh. Yeah? He does 5,000. <laughs> he did many miracles, yes. didn't he? <laughs> like 5,000. <laughs> or more. Uh, anywho, uh, boys and girls, enjoy. Stories of the Bible Jesus feeds the 5,000. This is Jesus, hey who is the Son of God and the Savior of the world. While Jesus was on earth, he taught everyone about God's love. He did many miracles and healed people of their sickness. Oh, hey, everyone. A huge crowd kept following him wherever he went because they saw his miraculous signs as he healed the sick. The crowd started to gather around Jesus. There were 5,000 men and many more women and children. Turning to Philip, he asked, Hey, Philip! Where can we buy bread to feed all these people? You see, Jesus was testing Philip, for he already knew what he was going to do. Um. 
Philip replied, Even if we worked for months, we wouldn't have enough money to feed them. Yeah, I got an idea. Then Andrew spoke up. There's a young boy here with five barley loaves and two fish. But what good is that with this huge crowd? Jesus said, Tell everyone to sit down. Bye, everyone. Sit down. Then Jesus took the loaves, gave thanks to God, and gave them to the people. Here you go. Afterward, he did the same with the fish, and they all ate as much as they wanted. Want some more? I'm all good, thanks. After everyone was full, Jesus told his disciples, now gather the leftovers so that nothing is wasted. You guys. So they picked up the pieces and filled 12 baskets with scraps left by the people who had eaten from the five barley loaves and two fish. Wasn't that a great story? Yeah. Okay, so in that story, uh, one of Jesus' miracles, hence why she said 5,000, was because she was uh, making a little joke there, right? Uh, Jesus was going to feed the 5,000, right? All of these people had gathered. Jesus uh, had large crowds gather because he performed many what? Miracles. He performed mi many miracles. He healed people. He helped people, right? He, uh, he helped people uh, rise from the dead. I mean, many, many miracles were performed during the time that Jesus was on earth. And in this one, Jesus already knew what he was going to do, right? Jesus never went into something with like, uh, like a willy-nilly plan. He went in knowing what he was going to do before it happened, right? And in this one, he was testing who? Philip. Philip. And he said to Philip, you know, the crowd's hungry. They talked about how the crowd was hungry. And he said what? Go get some bread. And Philip was like, hmm... He couldn't do it. Why? Because he w he doesn't have enough money. That and he didn't have enough bread, right? A lot of bread would have to be made to feed 5,000 people, right? We're not talking about five people or even 50 people. We're talking about 5,000 people that were hungry. So he said to Jesus, you know, I can't, we can't do it. There's no way, right? And Andrew said, hello. <laughs> What did um, he say? He said that little boy that um there's a little boy that um had five loaves of bread and two fish. Right, and Jesus said, "Bring him here." So what did Jesus do with the bread and he, the fish? He prayed over it. He prayed over it, and he gave thanks to who? God. He gave thanks to God, and then he had the disciples hand out all the food. Right. So the entire crowd ate, and they ate until they were full. Right? And when they were full, the disciples were like, what are we going to do with all this leftover food? Because there was so much leftover food. And Jesus told them what? Um, grab a um, bucket and... Or baskets. Or basket. And then... <laughs> he told them to grab the baskets, right? Yeah. Or get baskets and gather all the food up in those baskets because he didn't want it to go to waste. Right? So... The disciples went and they gathered up all of the food and, and put it in the baskets, right? Now, we can look at this story as a great miracle because it was, but how do you think we can parallel it, like, like compare it to our lives? Do you have any idea? Would you like me to help you? Yes. Okay. <laughs> so in our lives, things that happen day to day, um, uh, things that we may need, uh, things that come up. Uh, sometimes if we're sick, sometimes if, if we need to be able to provide for our families or for other people, um, we need to have faith, right? We need to know that if we're trusting in Jesus, we're trusting in God, that he's going to provide for our needs, right? Right? Yeah. We just have to ask him and pray and seek God, right? And he'll take care of us. And so... Uh, with this miracle, such a, a great miracle, he took a, a boy's lunch of just some bread and fish, and he fed a huge crowd, right? Now, do you think that showed his disciples something amazing? What do you think it showed his, his disciples? Something amazing. Something amazing to have faith and to trust, right? To give thanks to God. Very good. Should we always give thanks to God? No matter... No matter 
Blech. I can't even speak this morning, guys. No matter our circumstances, we should always give thanks to God, right? No matter if we think that we can't uh, accomplish something, if we can't, if we don't have enough to, to get by, God will provide. And we have to be thankful for whatever circumstance or whatever uh, part of our lives we're in. If it be a good time, a bad time, calm weather, a storm, whatever it may be, we always are faithful in giving thanks to God, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, awesome. Boys and girls, I hope you enjoyed this lesson. Uh, we are, again, one week closer to our church being opened, but we are we are at the final stretch now. Be praying this week for uh, <laughs> over next couple weeks for final inspections and things of that nature that just God find favor um, and that, you know, everything comes together in his perfect timing. We might not see the big picture um, right now, but in his perfect timing, it'll all fall into place, right? And we'll be excited to be back together again yes. with our friends. Okay, awesome. So I'm going to go ahead and close this out with prayer. And then, uh, boys and girls, we're going to jump into a couple of worship songs, right? So let's pray. Okay. Dear God, I thank you for today, Lord. I thank you for all of my friends at home that are watching, Lord. I pray over them. I pray that you keep them healthy, keep them safe, Lord. Help this week to be uh, just a week that they uh, chase after you and follow after you, Lord God, and that they have a desire just to learn and grow in you, Lord. Um, and just give honor and praise unto you, God. Uh, we thank you for the many uh, blessings and the many uh, hurdles that you've gotten us through for the building project, Lord. We just thank you for your provision. We thank you for uh, just just this uh, building, Lord, being a building, just being a, a tool in the tool chest to further your kingdom, to provide more ministry, Lord, to serve the community. We just thank you. We praise you for uh, the Families of Life Church, Lord, and the ones that you're going to be bringing in that we can minister to. Uh, we love you. We praise you in your precious and holy and wonderful name. Amen. Amen. Boys and girls, jump up, stretch. Moms, dads, for your friends, you're in too. And we'll see you next week. Bye. When someone gives you a helping hand How does it feel When someone takes the time to get to know you How does it feel It feels good How does it feel It feels good How does it feel When someone gives you a second chance How does it feel When someone loves you just the way you are How does it feel Feel. It feels good So do, do, do to others as you
God's love changed me more than I can say Can't keep this in, gotta let it out Gonna tell the whole world that Your love is spinning me round and around Yeah, it's turning me upside down I can't believe the way you love me more than I can contain I'm gonna turn around and give, give, give it away I want the world to know